Okay, today I have just installed a JEP-R variable speed pump controller for a Jandy E-pump, and they can be installed on an E-pump or a VS Flow Pro pump. And uh, basically what it is, it's this uh, little controller, and it's uh, attached to this pump, which is just basically an E-pump. This is the way to do it, like a standalone method, so you don't need any other... Um, panels or anything to control it. Okay, so basically what we want to do is we want to get this thing all set up. So it comes with pre, it's all preset for speeds and everything. So if I, if I were just to hit that button it would automatically turn on filtration. Um, but no times are set. Um, and it's 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 not set up. I, I just set the time on it, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing you want to do is you want to um, hit the menu button. The, this one is select, and then this one is to go back. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the menu button and hold it down for five seconds, and then it's going to read uh, select your user setup time. Um, so you initially you can set the time, which is um, once it's on that you just hit menu, and then you just set the time to the current time. That's the current time. Uh, this will take us back. You can choose uh, password protect so nobody else can use it. Run duration. Um, you can set um, many of your uh, set speeds: three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Or uh, actually, it looks like just three and four. You can set on uh, a countdown timer, basically. So if I select that, um, I've got it set for four hours. So the waterfall, if you select waterfall, it's only going to run for four hours and then shut off. And you can do that with this button and this button. And then this will go back. Okay. And so I'm going to go back again. So we got run duration. We have language, obviously. English for me. Display light, we can uh, select that. It's got a two minute timeout, so it's going to shut off in two minutes. And it's set for on. Light on. Simple as that. Okay. So if we go back too many times, we're going to have to hold that down again. Like what I did was just turn it on. These are more complicated than the Pentair ones and not quite as user friendly. You have password protect, run duration, language, display light. You can label the speeds, which which is one thing that I always have to do. So number one is always filtration, but you can change that. Um, number two is cleaning. Um, I set that for cleaning. It was just speed two. Speed three is waterfall. Speed four also is, it says cleaner, but that's just a countdown. That's not a schedule. Then you have a heating, speed six, solar heat. So you, you can label it whatever. You can change the labels to whatever you want. All you have to do is select it. So if I were selecting it, you get a pick from general, custom, label. So you can have make a custom label or you can just make a, do a general one. And the general ones consist of um, filtration, water feature, shear descent, waterfall, heating, spa jet, spa. So, I mean, pretty much you can pick anything that you need on there. And then just hit this to go back. Okay. Okay, so the next thing uh, pretty much covers how to set the time and all that. Now, um, the next thing we need to do, sorry, it keeps going out of focus, is um, get into the settings menu if you want to adjust to any speeds, which would be a combination of these three buttons. 
and you'll just hold those buttons down. And then it's going to say service setup. And then you can we we can scroll through. Um, you can set a max limit, minimum limit. You can display. I like to display the power usage so people know uh, kind of energy efficiency they're getting. Uh, you can pick the pump type, which depends on the pump. But uh, this is 600 to 3450 is this pump. But you can do the 600 to 2830 is the other option. And let's see if we go back. You can select pump type, freeze protection. Um, these come with pre freeze protection. It's going to basically let you choose how long, how long to run it for freeze protection. So we'll say two hours. And we'll go back. And then um, the ESAR sp speed. So this is really the only place you can uh, really select um, a speed that's not preset. And that's going to be for the star button, uh, the number one filter speed. And that's where you just you select it. And then you can choose the actual speed. Everything else is preset at, at like either 1800 or 2750. So let's go back. Okay. You can set the priming, which on this you can just set the priming speed, which in this case is 2750, which is fine. Then you can select the priming duration, which is three minutes, which I think is too long. I like just to do one minute. Okay, and so let's go back one more. So you get priming, default, load defaults. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much all you need to do. We'll hit that to go back. So, um, and the, the last thing we do is set the actual schedule for the pump to run. And that's really these two buttons right here is what we get to set. And all you have to do is you gotta hit the button that you wanna set a time on. And once it's on, you hit the menu button and you have the time clock and you get to pick from off time and on time. So the on time I'm going to set in the morning. If you hold it down it will start going fast. A little slower but it gets faster so I, I'm gonna set this for 7 a.m. to turn on okay on time and I'm gonna set the off time Run it to 7 to 12:30, and then we'll hit the. Once we're done, we'll just go back, and that's it. It's all set up. Pump is priming as we speak. Controller set up. About 10 minutes to go through the entire thing, so not too bad. Thanks for watching.